Hi everyone, today I would like to show you another interesting project here using an ultrasonic sensor and an I2C LCD display. Yeah, so we are going to be using this LCD display to display a bug graph and then use the ultrasonic sensor to show a distance of an object moving closer or away from the sensor. So the major issue here is I want to show you how the setup is done using an I2C display because I've seen most of the demonstrations I've come across are using the other kind of setup on the I2C display. So I'll put a simple schematic there to show you the setup and then the major challenge will be in the programming. Well, I want to show you how to form a personal or a custom library to run the LCD bug graph. You can now have a look at the program so that you can be able to see how that happens. So this is the code we are going to be using to run our I2C display. Now in most cases, the kind of libraries that you are going to find for the LCD bug graph do not support this I2C display. So you find that you have to make your own custom library. But making it is not very hard. You just use the already made libraries and you make a few modifications so for example this one i call it the lcd bug graph i to see this is my own custom library and i've got it from the original lcd bug graph dot h library so what you do first you are going to download the original library uh, i'll get it from here you can even get it from github uh, this is the link or you can download it from the Arduino website so I'll put the link in the description below to get the LCD bug graph library so after that you download this and install it in your Arduino IDE I'm hoping that everyone is following here knows how to do that so I don't waste too much time on that so my main issue is to show you how you can be able to make your own custom library from this other library here so after installing this library into the Arduino IDE you open the directory of where your libraries are installed for example in my case this is where my libraries are installed for the Arduino then from there you will discover that I have almost two identical libraries here for LCD bug graph this is because this LCD bug graph version 1.5 this is the original lcd bug graph and these are the folder there's a folder for examples and then these other files for the different codes that you want but mainly you want this h file and the c plus plus file so what we do we upload we create another folder inside here for example, I've created another folder here and name it any name you want, but me have named it LCD bug graph I to see so that I can be able to differentiate from this other original folder. Then I go to the original folder and down copy these files here. I don't need the example files because I'm gonna be using my own code, so I'll copy and then go and paste inside the new folder that I've created here so from here I can be able to make some changes to these two files here the H file and the C++ file because this is where the major idea of creating a custom library comes from so how we do that you just for example I can begin the H file I right click and then choose any code editor that you have I usually prefer notepad plus plus good for editing code so I'll open these files using notepad plus plus so these are the files I've opened all of them in my notepad code editor here now I'm going to be demonstrating how we do that for example this is the lcd bar graph.h this is the original file 
and this is the LCD background i2c.h in other words this is my custom or personal file so what you do you look at here these header files we are using here liquidcrystal.h remember this library does not support the i2c display so you need to change it in your custom file so that you use the liquid crystal i2c.h that's the first change you make then secondly you have a class here you change this name this is lcd background so i'm going to change it to lcd background i2c you gotta give it the same name as the h file that you're using then you change remember you see that this class name always comes here for example there's a class name here mm, and there is a yeah so whatever there is this lcd graph you change it to where's my custom you change it to lcd graph i to c okay like that then another change is inside here this is liquid crystal remember we're using the liquid crystal dot h library for the original file h file but in this case you are using as the liquid crystal i2c dot h so we also make those changes so wherever there is liquid crystal you put liquid crystal i2c like here and here okay so after that you save and then you have already made your h file then you got the c plus plus file the same thing the header files you have the lcd graph this is the original one so that means you are going to change it to the one i've created which is lcd graph i2c dot h and then i also increase the liquid crystal i2c instead of the liquid crystal okay i think you can now get the idea then also you discover from the original one here we are having the original c plus plus yeah you also change where there is LCD graph. You change it to LCD graph I to C. Just as simple as that. So after changing all the changes, then don't forget this. Here there is. Yeah, here there is liquid crystal. So it means you are going to change it from liquid crystal to liquid crystal I to C. Okay, like here. So you look for the changes, all the changes, and from there, you save, and that means you are finished making your H file, and C, plus plus file for your custom library. So from there, you are finished creating your library, which can be used in your code that you are going to be using here. So you discover that now if I write my own code, I can be able to use the LCD graph I2C, which is a custom library and the liquid crystal i2c dot h libraries otherwise most of the libraries that come with the bug graph have not been programmed to support the i2c displays hope that helps you to understand in case you have a problem following it up you can go back and check it a bit step by step you'll be able to understand it so from there the rest of the code is straightforward because I've already done some video on using the liquid crystal I2C display and then even the ultrasonic sensor. So if you have understood how those two devices work, then this should be a work in the pack. So from there, you can upload the code and see what we get now. We now test the ultrasonic sensor. So you can now test and see what happens if you move an object closer all away from the sensor so as you can see when you're moving the object away the distance is shown from the sensor and even the bug graph keeps on increasing to indicate the distance yeah like that